Hello and welcome to the Wicked Edition. I'm Dr. King Odu. We have a great show lined up for you. Kama Kawaida, it has been generally a great week except for this gentleman who saw someone escape from a police vehicle. Akamwata could start from the top in this clip that has since been described as the best video impression of the phrase down to earth. Mask, but after his failed escape attempt, he will be charged for not social distancing. Now, in his defense, we have heard that he told the police officers that alikuwa nataka kuonesha ye hawezi toroka. Now, as much as this was entertaining, why is it that there is always a sadist behind the camera when such incidents are recorded? Buskieni, how has you recorded your clip? I know it's funny, but why would you laugh like that? Unajuyo kicheko ndu ilifanyo mzee ashindu wakuwa muka. Keep in mind that this is, this is someone's husband. On the flip side though, it was a sight to see makarao waki inuwa buwana. Now one thing for sure ni ati hakuna mtu alikasirika na uo mzee kuliko jamaa alikuwa mekaa karibu na ye ndani ya yo gari ya polisi. Imagine alimuambia, wacha nichomoke kwanza, alafu unifuate. Mzee akasema we, hey, mimi na iona, wacha mimi ni penye kwanza, we bado kijana, mzee akatoka. <laughs> Mtu akiona hii clip in that context unaweza elewa machungu kalonzo anakuanga nayo akikumbuka aliambia baba let me run fast alafu baba akamwambia zi wacha mimi niende kwanza i got this Now this clip is also a great impression ya vile watu walikuwa wanapanga kushare mwa Kenya pale shule alafu mzee mwenye amepata mwenye ako mbele yako anashikwa before ikufikie In other news, a group of nurses from Bondo have been on the spot after news broke that they had invested in a house as a side hustle to boost their income. Now the house is said to have cost them around 2.8 million shillings inclusive of the theme song for the business. Now, some Kenyans have cited a conflict of interest in the nurse's choice of a side hustle. And come to think of it, Maze, if you are in the business of saving lives, how can you expect to make money on lives lost? Kuna watu wanasema au manasis wamekelea multibet. Ama ni multibet. Pande moja ikiungua, pande moja inachemuka. Na hawa kwanza wakienda strike ndiyo side hustle inashika poa. We imagine ukiwa hosi, alafu unasikia nasa kipiga simu. Hello? Eh, ni kama kuna kadile kidogo ule client tulikuwa tuna expect bado haja commit eh, naomba unipe kama wiki moja hivi alafu tuongee ha goja kidogo na, wacha nikupigie saa nane ni kama tutafanikiwa Did. now this has to be the proper definition of one man's meat is another's poison Now on their end though the bondonasis claim to have invested in the house after seeing how expensive the services are in the area and that was after they hired uh, one to send off a colleague critics on the other hand have claimed that hata kama ni side hustle they had the option of investing in an ambulance we have a great show lined up for you vile nimewa show kawaida as all, kama kawaida as always we at the wicked edition will never get tired of dedicating episodes of this show to address matters of youth unemployment this week we have managed to get a classic guest to address that area properly he is the youngest ever mp elected in this country elected at 23 years old to represent igembe south honorable john paul murigi is in the house asante sana we also have great vibes from our friends at telcom kenya in it with the power bundle of amazi whereby ukiona 10 bob unapata free calls free sms's na free whatsapp i'll tell you more about that in a bit but first ama wacha tu ni wachanue juni related last week nili promise eh, credo ya thawi ya telcom to the most interesting story in relation to kusota thank you very much for your responses lakini kuna moja anajua sisi wote tuta agree ilikuwa out of the box baringo kingpin alisema ukimaliza primary school unatumia barua ya kujoin high school ukimaliza high school unatumia barua ya kujoin campus but ukimaliza campus kutumia barua ya kujoin kazi 
hapo ndio serikali waliamua they will draw the line hiyo maneno ni poa sana na tukiaddress na guest ni poa sana tukiaddress na guest wetu wa leo kwa show cause he is very qualified i believe kuongea mambo ya employment na masomo kwa sababu he is in a position to influence policy but now uh, that baringo kingpin ametaja masomo by the way kingpin give me a shout on any of my social media accounts uh, ni kusotio credo ya telcom i believe it's very important also kuchanua mtu yote mwenye labda hajajua hiyo power bundle yenye nimetaja telecom ndio gani usiache nyuma mazi for as low as 10 shillings only you have enough time ya kupiga story kwa simu courtesy of telecom kenya imagine ukiwa na 10 bob unapata free telecom to telecom calls free telecom sms and free whatsapp inaitwa power 10 uh, for 20 bob only unaingia kwa power extra unapata free telecom to telecom calls free telecom sms na 100 mbs data bundles for free alafu kuna power 20 where you get 5 minutes uh, call call time to any network that is across all networks free telecom sms plus 100 mbs for free just dial star 544 hash on your telecom line to subscribe and to enjoy that offer tulikuwa pale kwa masomo na Kenyan MCAs are not a happy lot following reports that from 2022 a degree from a university recognized in Kenya will be the minimum educational requirements uh, requirement to vie for the office now judging from how they protested ni kama 2022 hakutakuwa na mtu kwa hiyo post ya MCA Alafu hiyo timing pia ni tricky maze. We are in the middle of a pandemic mashule zimefungwa mnataka kusema mama filifiri yako na 2 years za kusomea degree <clears throat> na still on the world of politics maheta and haters in general were on Nairobi women representative Esther Pasari's case after she started looking like Kamala Harris shortly after the latter was declared the vice president elect in the just concluded US election what is people's problem with Esther Pasari's looking like Kamala Harris to Kamala now aren't you the same Kenyans who recently claimed that our interior cs does not laugh in kenya but he is one of the biggest comedians in nigeria kuna shida gani ya watu kufanana na i feel there is, there is so much in common between uh, honorable esther pasaris and uh, vice president elect kamala harris sikia hata hizo majina zina sound the same and other than the physical looks and the fact that both are recognizable female leaders there's videos of them on the internet both of them wakiongea na masongo wao Yeah, yeah. I tell him baba even the car to, for me to hire to be able to campaign mm -hmm. uh, song was helping me mm -hmm. and I'm campaigning for you mm -hmm. so what I want you to know yes. is that the person who is helping me is song we did it we did it joe you're going to be the next president of the united states <laughs> now there's nothing wrong with people looking alike actually i think kenyans only have a problem with you choosing who you look like kenyans want to choose for you who you look like the same way mlisema huyu ni president ajaomoka mimi nilisema nafanana na Trey Songs na ikakuwa kesi lakini mtu mwingine akisema huyu ni mimi tuko sawa we have a great show ahead guys our guest uh, uh, John Paul Murigi the honorable member of parliament for Igembe South cons uh, constituency joins us on the other end of this short commercial break see you guys in a bit Welcome back to the weekend edition. I'm Dr. Kingori Shon Zito kama kawaida vile mwambie our guest for this episode Maze is ama acha niseme was the youngest ever elected member of parliament. No, Tensis is the youngest ever elected member of parliament elected at 23 years old. He is the only politician in this country mwenye amuja kula pesa yake ya campaign. John Paul Mwerigi is in the house. Karibu sana mwesh. Thank you very much. Wewe uniponea? Ah, uh, unajua sasa kuna lingana na vyenye unapanga siasa yako. Yeah. Sababu unajua wakati ambapo unapanga siasa ya kundanganya wa Kenya, yes. lazima na wao pia wakundanganye. Oh, Lakini wakati ambapo uwachezi, hao watu waonge kucheza. Ni interesting sana kwa side hustle yako ya kwanza ni member of parliament. Na inaitwaje hiyo ni a very very unique position to find yourself as a young person in this country. Na watu wanapiga kelele sana kuna watu eh manzi unemployment. Nimeongea na watu mimi kwa na hizo my engagements kwa social media wasiona tafuta job wakati watu wana lose job. 
na sema mse kama we watu wako na hope ya eh ni aje kama we ni youngster ukiingia pale unaenda kuleta changes za hivi na hivi specifically kama igembe eh, kuna kitu yote umefanya specific ya wasi waanze ku get jobs unajua uh, wakati niliingia and promised my people many things eh? yes. na vyenye niliingia sasa mali ambapo tunafanya policies ni pale parliament na ukikumbuka kitu kama uh, last uh, this, uh, this week yes. uh, on tuesday on tuesday pale parliament yes. kulikuwa na ambassadorial appointment zenye zilikuwa zimeletwa pale na president yes. lakini kwa zile kazi zote watu wenye walikuwa wamepewa zile kazi ni retired majors mm. na au <coughs> watu aged yes. na nikasimama kuongea lakini vyenye niliongea na watu wengine huwa hapa sababu niliuliza sasa kwa nini if you are retired you are tiring or you have retired <coughs> kwa nini kusiwe ni mtu mwingine mwenye ana kazi anapewa yes. ile kazi uliuliza Kum- hivyo yes kumaanisha tuko na shinda kubwa sababu when we are making the policies there yes. na, na dominant number ile namba yenye na dominate ni ya hao wazee wenye wako na umri wa juu yes hata tukijaribu aje tukua vijana pale 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 sababu ya very few yes atungeweza ku make ile uh, ile policy yenye itasaidia vijana na ndio maana nasema saa hii in this country <coughs> tunafaa sana yes kufocus kwa vijana na tusifocus kwa mtu sababu maybe that person ako na pesa sana na anaweza kupeana pesa on the ground. Yes. Tu, tu focus kwa wale watu ambao wanaelewa shinda za vijana. Okay. Sababu kama mimi sasa vitu zenye nilikuwa nimeanza ni empowerment ya au oh, vijana wa motorbike. Okay. Sababu ile ndio kazi kidogo kidogo yenye inawezekana kwa sasa. Yeah. Na pia wao tunaendelea kufanya. Na inasaidia. Inasaidia then uh, nilikuwa na wale ni... graduates wenye bado hawajapata job kama sasa hivi tulikuwa tunataka sana tuko interested sana on kazi mtaani na yes. initiative poa lakini watu wanauliza badala ya serikali angalia opportunities za oh tuko na ma graduates wangapi wasema architecture wenye wako mtaani eh, ma graduates wangapi wa this course or that course wenye wako mtaani wapatiwe opportunities wafanye kitu wamesomea walipo pesa kuliko kupea watu job kama hizo za sema kama kazi mtaani na kuna watu wanakuanga wameandikwa kufanya hizo unajua kama saa hii the initiative ya kazi mtaani ni initiative mzuri lakini the way it is executed ama waka vyenye wana implement mm-hmm. not a good way sababu unajua saa hii tunasema hatutaki kuleta yale mambo ya samani yeye yanatumika saa hii lakini unakuta mtu ako na degree zake lakini anafagia mtaro in instead of kujua huyu mtu amesoma kitu fulani then we empower this person yes. to do even more yes, yes, or yes. to to work uh, kwa ile kazi yenye amesomea okay. na kama hiyo kazi ya hiko then the government should provide ama iweke pesa kando zenye huyu mtu anaweza pewa ai uh, 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 kazi yake na ile pesa then ajisaidie yeye mwenyewe kama government ina kazi thank you umefanya poa sana basi sasa acha ni wewe sasa wewe yes. wewe umepata job yes na depending on your relationship na electorate yes. eh, unaweza kosa job unaweza pata job yes. unajua yes so it's a very very tricky position yes. politics yes so na mimi najua there is two ways of a politician ama parliamentarian ku keep job yake one ni kukuwa poa sana na watu ama hii miaka tano yenye umepewa hako kamoja ukule proper yani we ujue retirement yako umetengeneza hapo si ndio yeah <coughs> ni gani sure bet unajua the sure bet ni that relationship unaweka na watu sababu kama saa hii nikisema kuna very many groups zenye nimetengeneza within Gambia South constituency yes. sababu i want to utilize hii pesa ya uwezo fund sababu yes. najua nikiwa na kitu 100 groups kama this uh, kama this period tunaenda kupeana pesa kwa around 55 groups zile ambazo zime, zimeomba hii pesa yeah 55 groups yes. najua wakati nitatengeneza hawa vijana na hizi vikundi za kina mama at least wawe they have something i will be able to keep my job well sababu nikisema ni kule saa hii na ni hivyo hii kitu hata nikikula kesho sitakuwa na ile nitakuwa na jaa bando lakini nikisaidia hawa watu kwa zile groups zao 
mm. wewe na something ya kufanya kwa maisha yao na wajisaidie na wasaidie watu wengine still watataka kunielect tena ili nisaidie another group of the people kwa hivyo mimi sikuenda hapo uh, sababu pia wakati nilikuwa naomba kura niliwaambia mimi siombi kura so that i can go there i get rich nataka kuenda pale tusaidiane niwasaidie na nyinyi munisaidie kupata hii kazi wewe ukiwa mtu akisikia ukiongea wewe ni sharp sana unajua ma problem za watu wa igembe na sana sana ni covid ni nini inakuwa hapo ndani huko kwa government sijui government ni wapi yenye kama sahi tuseme kama hiyo hiyo time kama sahi ukipelekea watu hiyo pesa ya uwezo fund wa, wa, pesa imeshikwa na covid pia ama ni process ya government ndio inaenda pole pole the process is very long aungefanya kitu kama maybe there is a project you are initiating from the government aingechukua man it will take time sababu ni process ambayo inafaa kuadangu before hiyo pesa ikuje so pesa iko pesa iko process ndio inafaa inaua watu na njaa hapa eh sababu sasa kama saa hii tuko na kitu inaitwa BBI ili consume the first time 10 billion na saa hii tena ikatumia 10 billion na sasa unasikia yeah. we are going for the referendum na itachukua less than 10 million hiyo pesa inatoka wapi na wananchi wanaambiwa so pesa iko pesa iko so watu wakaenjaa wangoje process yenye watu wanafaa kufanywa kazi hiyo trust in the process hiyo ndio kitu yenye hiyo hiyo ndio wanasemanga trust in the process yeah. so mi, mimi kama mtutu wa kawaida naweza uliza wewe uko na idea poa kuna ma vijana wako mtaani wanahitaji job na uko na idea poa kuna groups zinafaa kupewa do right yes. the first step ni gani nataka tuende unisaidie tu pole pole mpaka mali pesa iko the first step as a member of parliament mm. unaenda una pitch ndio the, the, the first uh, thing ni group yes. una ensure this group is legally registered. registered okay then after in group imekuwa registered wako na or oh, other documents zenye zinatakikana na yes. wamefungua bank account then you direct them kwa yule officer wa youth okay. uh, youth, uh, youth fund yes. ama uwezo fund okay then wamefika pale yes. then unasukuma huyu officer wa youth fund hmm. to send those document to the hand office yes. alafu anatuma hapa akituma hapa sasa sababu utaki kitu take process sababu if you will not for uh, you will not follow up it will take process so as a lender ni wewe una take that initiative now to go to the hand office uskume nikitaka kuingia parliament na zero budget kama wewe niende tu nione vile kuna endanga inaweza tumboa this time aunge shindo kuingia in the parliament but chenye kinaweza kusuia kuingia hmm. ni the policies zenye uko nazo sababu kwa watu lazima uwe na policies zenye ni realistic sababu unajua unaweza promise watu uh, kitu chenye ni kitu chenye Awa, ni very ambiguous chenye unge kuwa akinge kuwa realistic so una make sure uongo yako ni kadogo hapana unaambia watu something which you know you will do hata kama ni kitu Awa. kidogo aje sababu kama mimi in my politics zenye nilifanya mwaka wa 2017 i promised many things lakini i have promised things which i can do even if i will not be given anything okay kama nini sasa hizo nini hiyo unaweza promise watu waone yenye ujamaa kitu ya kwanza nilikuwa nimewaambia uh, nitawatafutia soko ya mandizi ah hiyo nilikuwa najua so si ni, nitaenda nitafute hao watu wenye wana deal na hiyo biashara na kutoka hapo hao watu waende huko waanze kufanya hiyo kitu So uliwaambia utakuwa broker wa mandizi ukakuwa <laughs> sio broker <laughs> nitawatafutia mali ambapo wanaweza kufanya nini kuuza yes. na watu wenye wanaweza kuwa nunulia yes na ika happen hiyo hata nilifanya within one month hata before tu we sworn in mwezi wa 8 mwezi wa 9 uh, tisa watu walikuwa wameenda huko kufanya nini kununua mandizi watu wa ndizi wakaanza kuwa wakaanza waka, kufanya waka, wakapata mashimo then nilikuwa nimewaambia sababu nilikuwa najua obvious CDF nitapewa nikamwambia every student oh my student wa college na university yes. au watu nitawapatia 10000 ya bursary na nilikuwa najua na nikamwambia sasa na vyenye nitafanya au utakuja ku apply in my office i will switch a certain day 
tuwe tunakutana mahali pamoja kwa uwanja tunakuja hapo mnajaza shikilia sasa kuna shida inakuja hapa kwa yeah. sawa wamepewa basari yes. wasome yes. alafu waende wapi <laughs> <laughs> unajua mm. hii Kenya mm. kitu chenye nimekuja kuelewa is better uwe na at least uh, knowledge yes. ama upate a certain skill mm. then kutoka hapo sasa kwa hizi tu mambo zenye tunafanya za vikundi hizi mm. at least hapo sasa mtu anaweza kunji kunji saindia sababu tukisema ni hii white collar job hapa uh, nilikuwa na sukuma mbili ya help watu yes. wasilipe nini wasio wanalipa interest okay. na wasio wanalipa hiyo help bill uh, help loan before waajiriwe yes na nilikuwa na wazee wa 1978 Yes. Oh watu wameritaya already but they wanna go and help wako na loan wako na deni ya help lakini wameritaya already but hawajawahi hawajawahi ajiriwa oh mtu alimaliza shule <laughs> 1978 ulimaliza but hajawahi pata job hajawahi pata job na hiyo kitu imekuja sijui 19 uh, 1995 <laughs> na help, yeah. 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 hiyo mambo na help hii loan sasa unakuta kuna huyo mtu wa 1995 mpaka saa hii anja pata job hajawahi pata job hajawahi yes. anajitegemea yeye mwenyewe na amesoma si yeye anadegree labda job tisio solution yetu hizi kazi za kawaida kazi ya mkono kama hiyo yenye nilikuwa nafanya hapa igembe t factory ya kubeba kuni unakuta mtu wa kuko mjengo eh ukisema na unajua the problem is kuni hmm? kuna beba kuni pale igembe factory kuni zinatumika nini kwa t factory ni boiler uwe ina washa hiyo moto ya boiler oh. inachemusha maji inakuwa na steam hiyo steam inaenda mahali kuna ito withering inakausha ile majani inafika level temperature fulani ya level yenye ya majani sasa ianze kusiago mm -hmm. kutoka hapo sasa majani inakuwa transported to ile machine inaitwa CTC scan ah. uh, CTC oh, <laughs> scan na CTC scan. Uh, uh, CTC CCTV si, 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 scan ni ile ya hospitali. Ulipiga hiyo job ya kubeba kuni kwanza alafu ndio ukaingia sasa kwenda ku campaign. Eh, nilikuwa uh, watu wa Igembo walini promote kutoka hapo paka kwa hiyo job sasa. Na ni nini ni, ni process gani? Ni nini ilifanya <laughs> ukajua wewe? Hauna do ya campaign yes. na una, ni nini ilifanya utoke kwa uh, Unajua the chenye kilini kilini pa motisha kuomba hii kazi kutoka pale factory nilikuwa nimeangalia 2007 nilikuwa mdogo lakini wale watu wenye walikuwa wanatumika kwa siasa sana yeah. ni vijana okay then uh, 2012 2013 wenye walikuwa wanatumika sana kwa siasa ni vijana lakini nikauliza sisi tukiwa vijana si ndio pia sisi tunaweza toa mtu mwenye tunatoshana naye na mwenye tunaweza uliza swali Yes. kama kuna mahali mambo inaenda vibaya na ndio maana in Gambia South constituency I'm very open mimi wanaambia wananchi wangu nikikosea do not congratulate me tukutane uniambie mheshimiwa hapo umetufanyia makosa na unafaa kufanya hivi lakini kama utafanya hivi sisi hatuko na wewe na kama nimefanya vizuri pia uniambie hapo umefanya vizuri yes. sababu mimi pia huwa sisikizi mambo yenye naambiwa huo nataka kusikiza mambo yenye ninaona na naambiwa from the ground nao watu hapo what's the hope kama kuna mtu unasema alimaliza shule 1978 na hajapata job mpaka sasa hii kama nyi mko mko maboys kadhaa my, my youth kadhaa pale parliament mko na kina jagua huko ndani nyi ukutana mna na kina muha mnakutana mna mnajiambia mna think uh, way forward ya wale watu wanalia sasa hii and kama system ime iko na watu kutoka 1995 hawajapata job watu wenye wanaenda ku graduate saa hii mtu mwenye ako shule saa hii hope yake ni gani kupata job ever ulisema mm. poa sana tu, 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 before i let you go ulisema poa sana watu wasitegemee white collar job so ukitujibu uki, hii tunaweza omba utujibu na possible ideas zenye umeona zenye inaweza kwa way forward watu labda wache kutegemea hiyo hope ya white collar Unajua pale pale men tuko na kikundi yetu ya young parliamentarians. Yes. Na huwa tunakutana na tunazungumza vile ambavyo tunaweza fanya our fellow youth also they benefit from this job we, we are doing there. 
sababu pale mbunge yes. ndio mahali sheria yote ina inatengenezwa ya hii nchi na tulikuwa tunaangalia tunaona uh, kama wakati huu ambapo vijana hakuna kazi yenye wanapata wewe oh, ukitoka ukitoka shule kama if you have graduated from school ukikaa nyumbani for one year then the following year the government should give you something kama hakuna kazi yenye umepata supposed to be given a certain amount of money okay. you start your own job sasa kutoka hapo ukianza your own job now kama ni ile help loan unaweza kuwa unafanya nini unaweza kuwa unalipa asante sana thank you that's it for the weekend edition see you next week my name is dr kingori but this is not over Tukutane pale Nation FM 96.3 on Monday from 10 to 11 a.m. for a continuation of this conversation na mweshimiwa <coughs> wa Igembe South, John Paul Mwirigi. Mm -hmm.